We're here to celebrate your new book, America Again, Rebecoming the Greatness We Never Weren't. Yes, Quite George. a title. Thank you very much. Well, it's trying to capture really what America needs right now. America, America is perfect and it's time to fix it. And we've got, and we eat well too. America's got the best here? of everything, including the best food. <laughs> this in front of us is what I call, it's an Oreo and a Ho-Ho. Uh, it's called an Oreo Ho. Pretty and it, epitomi it epitomizes, you're a brave man <laughs> to bite that. I think that's just a prop. <laughs> It is plastic. You're it right is now. a little bit of plastic, exactly. This epitomizes it's all it's all corn based, mm -hmm. but it's got all the major American food groups. Actually, uh, frosting, it is excellent. Cream, and and snack cake. Mmm. Mmm. Now, if you just fry it, mmm, it's a great source of fiber. Mmm. <laughs> so I'm going to get to the book in a second, but oh boy. we got this big debate coming up tomorrow night. Everything changes tomorrow night, George. Everything changes tomorrow night. All other news stories up to this point were meaningless. <laughs> but you were not chosen to moderate. What would you have asked if you were? Um, uh, I, would, I would make them like, first of all, I would make them like shoot rock, paper, scissors. Good to idea. see who gets the first question, because that's fair. Mm -hmm. um, I, would, I would ask them, you know, if they wore boxers or briefs, obviously I'd go for, <laughs> I think the, they tried that I'd go for the big questions like that. I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm really not much of a news guy, George. What are? Uh, no, it's it's, uh, it's Jim Laird tomorrow night. Jim Laird tomorrow the, night. The, the 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 most boring man in news. He'll take he'll take offense to. No, that. he won't. <laughs> no, he won't. He is proudly the most boring man in news. And but no, he says he's he says he is going to make sure they mix it up. He's going to bring tomorrow it. Night. He is going to bring. What should Mitt Romney do? He's got a lot to. He's got his back up against the wall. Um, I I, I think he should just lash out randomly. At Barack Obama, <laughs> maybe physically get up in his face, get up in Obama's grill, because he need he need because right now Obama's the top dog. He is he is on top right now, and also the top dog, your old friend John Stewart. He's going to be here on Thursday, but debating Bill O'Reilly on Saturday. You know both men well. Who's going to win? John Stewart will eat Bill O'Reilly's liver with some fava beans <laughs> with relish. Yeah, and a nice Chianti. <laughs> So tell us about the book. You say, you, you say right now the entertainment industry is not doing its part to help fix the economy. Well, uh, by saying, by, by, by making, by portraying America as the greatest country it can be, it's one of the greatest exports we have in the United States is our entertainment industry. We need more movies spread around the world that declare America's greatness at all times. We'll work on that. You know, you've got everybody over there working hard on it. They got the 3D glasses. The book is in 3D. The book is very importantly in 3D. Actually, I wrote the book in 3D because yeah. after Avengers dizzy, uh, came out in 3D and had a $250 million opening weekend, I realized a 2D <laughs> book, 2D books are not good anymore. Kids want their books like that. It looks like the pages are just turning straight at you with oh, my look, book. You get that little cam with it too. That's not how 3D works. <laughs> well, thank you for trying. I tried. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're just trying. <laughs> Those are great glasses. Really you all are. look like Speed Racer. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And I want to thank you for bringing these big sodas here because, you know, in New York now, it's a little bit tougher to get these right now. Mayor Bloomberg, you think he's un-American. Well, yeah. I mean, America, America is, Americans have, as I said, the greatest food in the world. And one of the greatest foods we have are, 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 are corn-based sodas. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, you are what you eat. We are corn-based soda. And, 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 and Mayor Bloomberg, by you know, outlawing drinks more than 16 ounces, I think is doing something un very un-American. You drink a 20-ounce Coke in New York, and the American legally have you tasered. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll feel good while you're doing it. Mm -hmm. Let's put you on the hot seat right now, since oh, you know boy. so much about America. Uh -huh. Who is the sexiest woman in America? Elizabeth Vargas. There you go. <laughs> wow. Unless... <laughs> unless, unless my wife is watching. <laughs> okay. I'm afraid to ask the next one. Who's the sexiest man in America? George Stephanopoulos. Oh, wow. And you know why? You are it's, so insincere. It's that lovely, lovely rug you're wearing. Today. <laughs> right. It really is so. Just don't pull it. So alluring. <laughs> and if you could rename America, what would you call it? America, America Plus. <laughs> The most American thing about America? The most American thing about America, our, our greatness. 
our exceptional greatness, which is a result of American exceptionalism, which of course comes from how great we are. <laughs> That's actually so a direct quote from Newt Gingrich. So nothing you would change about America? You want to know nothing about America? Uh, fewer states. What? Same, <laughs> same, amount land, same amount of land. Same amount of land. We need two Dakotas? <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a waste. In this tough economy, we've got to cut back. See, that's the loophole. That's the loophole that Romney's going to close in his budget. He's <laughs> going to lose one of the needs, Virginias and one of the Dakotas. Some would say, who needs two Carolinas? You left out your home state there. Well, we, uh, we proved that by kicking a little ass in the Civil War. Did we not? <laughs> And I have no idea what that means. I want to be on. I want to be go on record as saying I think that the, the Confederacy was wrong. And I'm going to go. I'm going to take a brave stance and say that I'm against slavery. Okay. okay. And finally, who is the most American American? You're looking at him, George. <laughs> I am America.